All right. Got a friend who's complaining that his, uh, that kind of upside down. All right, see if that works. Complaining that his, uh, DJ light controller, DMX controller is not working right. Some buttons uh, are not working correctly. And he tried to glue it and do all kind of different things and it didn't seem to fix it. So uh, I'm going to try to help him to fix this. And as you can see, I spent a good 20 minutes or so removing the protective tape that he has over the whole thing and as you can see look at the back the front was the same he glued I guess he taped the whole surface and just cut out The rail here for the sliders, the faders, as you can see, I didn't take them all off. There's still some left on here. But the guy did a good job. I don't know why, what for, but I guess it didn't make any sense. I guess he afraid drunk people at the bar may spill drinks on his uh, controller, I guess. All right, so I'm going to take it apart and see what's going on. Okay, got the thing taken apart. Here is the board with all the buttons and faders, sliders. And this just one big ribbon cable connected there and probably Can just some power. Please? <laughs> connected here, you got some test points here. And probably a microcontroller chips. Very simple thing to do. Uh, pretty dense looking circuit board. We'll see. I'm not sure how many layers. No, it's very thin. So I'm going to take it, have to take this apart to see uh, the buttons, to get to the buttons and not sure if there's any other microprocessor or anything underneath here. I'll report that in a little bit. All right, after a bunch of screws taken out. <laughs> so here it is. Here's a circuit board. Just looking at it. Uh, no, it does not have any, any other processor, so. It was a, just a microcontroller that I see that it has a little LCD display and uh, a bunch of uh, just the drivers for the um, this little push button. These are all the drivers. Drivers, latches, and it depends on what it's programmed to do. Uh, I got to look at the part number can't see but anyway you can see lots of screws uh, knobs button so we'll do some measurement and see what's going on okay um, I guess I can do some measurement in a little bit but just some physical test that's what you normally do uh, visual, then physical, and then you get into, you know, the digital measuring stuff. So visually, everything looks good. Uh, I did check on these components. Those are the 740. Uh, they normally used to drive the LEDs. Uh, turn on off the LEDs. And uh, so this is the one that is in question uh, you can see how loosely it is let's see if we can get one of my tweezers I may have left it downstairs 
I can use this little thing just to point out easier to see. Look how wiggle it is compared to this one. Here's solid. That one is gone. The little spring return uh, latch uh, behind it probably got squished or broken before been using way too much, too many times and too hard I guess. And you can tell, you can hear this. That's your push button. This one, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even doesn't click. You can't hear click like that. That's pretty much a given right there. So that little switch, I'm gonna try to take it out, see if I can fix it. If not, that will need to be replaced. Uh, for the immediate fix, we can uh, see if I can order another one from uh, Mauser or somewhere. If not, then I'm gonna ask the guy which button on this thing that get used the least or we'll just borrow it <laughs> for a quick fix and get him uh, up and running again so you got all kind i guess one of this scene here uh, you got one two three four five six seven and maybe he doesn't use that many then we can borrow one and uh, use it if I if I can't find the switch but just the just by looking at the switches uh, this should be fairly common so let me take it out and read to see what the part number is and uh, we'll go from there or I can probably call up uh, uh, American DJ and ask him or do provide me with a, a material list or uh, or like a schematic or something so I can get the part number. I'm fairly sure they may have some of these uh, a spare part uh, where I can, I can purchase just like the uh, Sennheiser um, microphone wireless uh, handheld that I had uh, got a burnt LED and those things are so tiny uh, these are big LEDs the one that was on the handheld is probably one tenth of these I mean I, I, I didn't I couldn't even see it I have to put it under my uh, microscope to be able to see and uh, get it on but the fairly common part that fell so they happen to have them in stock I call them up they know exactly what I need and they send it to me already I'll report back all right after I get the little switch all fixed up and put the uh, hundred of switches push button and there's a little knobs here everything back together all right got all the screws in and everything else and so we are going to test this thing and the button that I fixed is this guy here uh -huh. here's the broken button Didn't do anything. I'm gonna order the little switch from American DJ, and uh, we'll get it out. Again, doesn't take too long. I'm gonna try something here. 
I guess. Let's uh, Oh, let's get it all off and let's see there we go our switch is full on and it is working perfectly I guess the guy was using this thing uh, as supposed to uh, program the chase and get them at the scenes and get them flash and all that it probably too uh, much for him to do and I think he was just using that. He's just gonna sit there and just press on the button to get it to activate. So uh, there you have it. It seems to work okay. I don't know anything about lighting, uh, but I'm pretty sure I can figure this stuff out pretty easy. But for the time being, I'll just give it back to the guy. And if he needs any help programming or anything like that, I can certainly help him. All right, there we have it. Everything's back in order. And I'm not sure what he does, but uh, a few things are missing. His little joystick here is not is gone. Um, I guess if he needs to, I can order it and replace it for him too. And... Oh, uh, boy. Whatever happened to that thing? There. Yeah. Okie dokie. Take care, guys. Okay, I was just playing around, looking around, and uh, found some record button, set up some scenes, and uh, some light chasing. Just to play around with it. And guess what? It's, it's working fine. And try to set the speed on that. I guess you can still use that full on button. And I use the programming flash pattern. And adjust the speed. Oh, I guess you can do the tap to the music. There we go. Everything seems to be working okay. Alright, I guess he'll be happy. And uh, I'll probably order the rest of the stuff and just fix it for the guy.